Heyo, it's me Harper Savage, and today we're gonna be doing some Uncatcher art. Now you might have noticed that I reverted back to my old desk mat, so there's stains and stuff everywhere. But the other background was actually uh, like an oval tablecloth, and it kept uh, touching my legs, and it was just bothering me because I I did tape it up, like so it wouldn't be touching my legs, but it kept falling down. So I was just like. Screw it, and I took it off my desk, and uh, I pulled out my old desk mat. We do have paint, and we also have suction cups for later. But right this minute, we are going to protect the area, despite my desk mat already being dirty. I just don't want it to get any worse, so we're gonna get something out to protect my desk mat. All right, so these are all the options. I did get everything from Walmart, including the paint and suction cups. So if you're interested in any of this stuff, you can find that at Walmart. I'm probably not going to be doing all these today, but I am going to be trying to do some. Now, I think I want to do the star catcher. The star. The, sh ooh, the shooting star. <laughs> and maybe the unicorn and the cat. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how I feel once I get started here. So I've decided to do the star catcher first. We need to take off this sticker. Oh my gosh, I probably should have done this first. Okay. So. Gonna open this up now. It doesn't actually say how long it takes for this stuff to dry, so I guess we're just gonna wing it. It must be in rainbow order. Them's the rules. Okay, I can't decide where I want the gray and the black and the white to be, but it's fine. I'm gonna do a yellow star. I don't know if I need a toothpick or a paintbrush or anything. This kind of looks like you can just squeeze it out and it's like ready? Do I have to take off? Uh oh. My my adult hands are not good for this little baby task. Oh no. Well, this is something else I should have done before I started, I guess. Uh oh. Oh no, it's on my fingers. Oh no! I dropped it! My white background is already ruined! Okay, I'm gonna go get a towel because now it's on my fingers and I'm gonna cry. Like, I don't know if I'm supposed to shake these or not. Like, there's no instructions on the back of this. I'm just gonna go ahead and open them all now because I don't want to struggle with that when I'm in the middle of switching colors, you know? All right, I just spent an absurd amount of time uh, opening all this, so let's finally get into this. Well, I want my stars to be yellow. See how this works. Oh, have I shaken this? I also don't know how thick of a layer I should be putting down. It's been quite a while since I've done a sun catcher thing. I know I should try to pop the bubbles. Because they definitely stay there. Oh no, I'm making it worse. I do like the tiny little nozzle on the ends of these because I can get into like the little spaces without needing a paintbrush or a toothpick. I'm creating a lot of bubbles though. Maybe I'll just take a lighter to it and see if they'll pop. I'm also curious to see how long these bottles last. Alright, I'm gonna take a lighter to the bubbles and see if they'll pop. Oh yeah, the lighter trick works on them. Nice. I don't know why I didn't think it would, but it works. Okay, so for this one, I want to be a little creative. The big star. I think I want like an orangey center. Oh my god, it looks like a luma! Oh, can you even tell? And then use a yellow for the tip. Maybe I should grab a toothpick. Kind of blend it together nicer without like getting the paint on the uh, ends of the thingies. I do have a thousand of these etch art thingies, so I could use this to kind of attempt to blend it. It's probably gonna look more like a marbling effect though. Maybe some more orange. So I've been looking into enamel pins uh, recently uh, and I wonder if this is a similar process for enamel pins. As I fill in the slots with paint. I don't know but now I'm intrigued. Okay it's probably not gonna be as blended as I want so I think I'm gonna leave it in the star-ish shape. I think I want the shooting part to be like purple colors and blues. You could probably use a toothpick. I just had happened to have these etch art sticks on hand. 
But I do like this because it's reusable. I could just wipe it off and not have to get a new toothpick. Oh no, a giant bubble! Get out of here, bubble. I just noticed there's not really a dark blue. It's just light blue and like teal. I'm trying to make it as even as possible because my knowledge from these is that it's obvious when it, you don't do it evenly. Okay, so for the background, I'm going to be using black, but I think I want to mix some purple into it, like swirl it around to make it not so uh, sad and dark like my soul. Now I'm not going to entirely fill these because I am going to be mixing the purple and black together. I'm trying to fix where I accidentally poured some black into the yellow there. All right, I will call this one done. I'll go ahead and show you up close before we see it dry. I think it looks really cool. Can't wait to see it in the window. Let's set one that. Whoa. Set that one aside. Can I not speak dyslexically, please? <laughs> I think I want to do the kitty next. So I want to make this one like an orange tabby. I'm going to put like yellow around the face. An orange. Everywhere else. Basically. Well, this one would have been cute as a gray tabby too. I just realized I have gray. It's not like a common color I feel I see in Suncatcher kits. Now I'm gonna try it to like blend these together. We just did this on the star and it didn't work out that good. I don't know why I think I can do it. Maybe I'll dump more yellow in the center since I just pulled it all away. And I don't really want the stripes to be red, but that's the only other color here we have. Maybe if I just put a little splotch of red and like mix it in with orange or something, we can get a different color. Because I want the stripes to be more... Ooh. Should have done orange and brown in there. Because they're like a brownish, orangish color. For tabbies. And that red's a little bit more on the pink side, so probably would have been a better idea to do brown. Let's hope it just shows up as a different color in the orange. Now let's go and do the body. I'm torn between making this stomach white and making it uh, yellow. Because I think I've seen both on orange tabbies. Hmm, I'm gonna drop some yellow into the tip of the tail and the paws. Even though I think I filled up the paws quite a bit. Rip. Now some white. I think I'm gonna add a little drop of white into the ears, nose, and the cheeks. I'm gonna mix red in to make it more of a pinky color because this color is a bit more raspberry-ish or as I like to call it, purpy. Okay, let me add more white. See if I can make it work. Oh, that might be too much white. Oh gosh. Yeah, it's bleeding out. No! No, don't do it! <laughs> it's getting everywhere. Hold on. I think I can fix it by sucking some of it back up into the red. Okay. All right, we saved it. <laughs> it's fine. Not quite as messy as it was a minute ago. No, don't bleed. Stop it. Oh my gosh, I'm ruining it. Ruining it. All right, I just overfilled some of them. It's fine. <laughs> All right, I think I'm done with this one. Let me go ahead and pick it up. Show it to you guys outside of the glare. I think it's all right. Uh, hopefully it'll dry better. I think we're gonna do this narwhal next just to change up the colors we were just using. So I'm gonna go with this blue. Oh, do I wanna do the teal? I think I wanna do the teal. Okay, before I pour too much in, I'm gonna take a toothpick here and spread it out and pop some bubbles. All right, hopefully it's even enough. Let me go ahead and do the back fin here. Took quite a bit of my teal away. Oh man, I poured out way too much. Just into the main area here and spread it out. 
think I want the spots to be white and the stomach. I do wish that the set came with a bit more of a pinky pink and less of like a raspberry color. This doesn't make sense for all the blushies. And they are the same brand and I saw kits that they also had. These some of these catchers were not in the kits but some of them were kind of deal. So I'm like they, sh they should know that they need more of a pink color. Here is my narwhal. I think I have time for one more. I'm gonna do the ice cream. See, this could be strawberry ice cream, but like, you know, we don't have a proper pink color. And do hot fudge on top. We haven't used the brown yet. I haven't used the gray either. I should probably think about what I can use the gray for if I do this again. We didn't use green yet either. Maybe we make mint ice cream. These two lines on the edge are like really close together. I don't know if I can actually get any paint in here. Well, certainly try. All right, let's see how absurd this green is gonna look on this ice cream. Oh, it's not that bad. I think if we added a little blue to it, it could pass as mint chocolate chip. So let's just do a little bit at a time so we can add a touch of blue. It's like neon green right now in the in the camera lens. It's not. Ooh. Oh god, almost almost ruined everything. Not that bright in real life. It's a little bit duller. Oh yeah, put that a little bit of blue here and there. Attempt to mix it all together. Do our best to mix. We haven't mixed in a big section yet, so this might not even work out. Yeah, I think it like basically disappeared. I will drop some blue in here for the consistency's sake, just in case it does like show up when it's dried. Oh, what am I gonna color the cone? I didn't even think about that. I don't know what this swirly is around it, but maybe we could just make it white to make it look like it's like what has white swirls in it. Well, that's gonna bleed everywhere. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's going perfect. Well, I'm thinking maybe I can make the cone yellow with like a little. Tiny splotch of brown. My goal. Tiny splotch. That yellow looks so cool on the camera. Like, I don't know. It just looks like really jelly like right now. I don't know. I typically don't like yellow, period. Um, it hates me. I hate it. Yeah. Mutual hate for each other. Okay, that's better. I don't think my cone color ended up. Horrible. It'll probably be a lot more swirly when it's dry, though. We'll see, though. All right, here they all are. I will hopefully insert a B-roll of them dried and maybe on the window. We'll see. But yeah, I decided to do this because it's like sunnier out and I figured now's the right time to do this type of video, like for sun catchers. I actually do want to do my stack of four that are still here. We have like a cupcake, um, a unicorn, a turtle and a sun left so let me know if you guys want to see that if not i'll just do it by myself no big deal thank you guys so much for watching if you want to see another cool video go ahead and click here and if you want to just catch up because you missed the last video you can go ahead and click here don't forget to do all the cool youtubey things of comment liking and subscribing and i'll see you in the next video bye bye